In January of 2015, members of the British Army's elite 7th Parachute Regiment, Royal Horse Artillery, arrived at Fort Bragg to continue the advancement of a multinational partnership between the Paras and the 82nd Airborne Division. The two forces conducted Operation Pegasus Cipher with the objective of incorporating artillery assets to an already interoperable airborne infantry capability that was developed between the Parachute Regiment and 2nd Brigade Combat Team last year. One of the key frictions that we've had um, and probably one of the most important things that we need to solve um, is the difference in the communication systems that we use uh, and that's been one of the, the, the key things that we've managed to overcome yesterday is establishing ways in which US communications equipment can talk to UK and therefore uh, UK and US forces can operate with each other fairly seamlessly. Five zero, two rounds, far for effect, followed by three rounds of two zero seconds. Over. Yeah, that we use different um, radio systems. Uh, we have a few similarities between those systems. In the event that we ever deployed as a coalition force anywhere, what comms plan are we uh, initially going to establish? So we've done the theory of that and the practical application, um, but without the guns firing yesterday. Uh, and then today, we'll look to put that into practice with some light firing. The training also continues to develop integrated airborne transportation strategies in preparation for multinational operations in complex and uncertain security environments around the globe. Look to be interoperable is to be able to drop that UK gun uh, from an American uh, aircraft by parachute. Down at the heavy drop school down there, they're, re they're rigging up our guns uh, at the moment and trying to get a schematic for it. That's never been done before with this system. So this is most definitely a capability enhancement, uh, which is just going to provide a much greater degree of flexibility in the way in which we can uh, both support each other. On this particular exercise, Pegasus Cipher, is the FIRES communities from both 16 Air Assault Brigade and the 82nd Airborne Division really solving some of the technical interoperability challenges this is just a small part of a much broader program. The two heads of each army signed a document uh, over a year ago now uh, asking us to make the two armies more interoperable. At some point this year, the 82nd Airborne Division and 16 Air Assault Brigade as the high readiness, responsive organisations for both armies will be able to deliver practical interoperability for intervention operations. And that's just a tremendous achievement. With field training complete, the troopers take to the game field. This should have been happening years ago. I mean, uh, everywhere you guys go, we seem to go. Uh, and I think we should do this more often. And for us, learning your skill set and you know interoperability with that, with changing it and mixing it up together, we learn things from you and you learn things from us. This has definitely been a, you know, a highlight on the, on the, on the forecast for us. To, uh, to sort of get on the on the plane and get over here and um, you know get the chance to sort of do some good training, so it's definitely One, something to look forward to. Two, three.